Welcome, everyone, to the world premiere launch exclusive of the 21st episode of the Stray Pixels podcast, which will probably be about an hour long, but it could have been condensed into 15 minutes if we're all being honest. I am your host, Noisy Pixel staff writer Colin Buchanan, uh, joined as usual by my co-host, staff writer Nathan Mejia, and our editor-in-chief, Bailey C. Mangle. How are you guys doing this week? Man, today has been a wild ride for some of us. <laughs> It's been the last them. like the last like four days have been a wild ride. Yeah, we we got Capcom tomorrow. We got yeah, I FF7. know. I, I was like, we couldn't put it we couldn't put it off for Capcom's presentation as much as I want to, so that I can see Ace Attorney Seven. They gotta show there. it to they're me. They're not, they're not no. Ace, Ace Attorney Seven is vaporware. Yeah, it's like that happens. So anyway, I am getting over severe dental pain. Uh, however. <laughs> Or you guys too this week? Um, all, all things considered, with what's been going on in my life, I've been pretty pretty good today, actually. Uh, beat the first Trails game uh, just last night. Started up two, uh, and now he's trucking. I'm trucking on. Before you know it, I, I should be able to review. Uh, was it? <laughs> zero or whatever i mean he could. <laughs> he could that would that would not be the worst idea uh and and i asked america here's your here's your guy yeah uh, <laughs> bailey how about you we, it's been it's been a busy busy time i'm pretty busy we got a <laughs> lot of shit happen and we have um there's a there is a second xbox thing happening on tuesday i think I believe um, it's just like a more in-depth look extended, at some of the stuff yeah. we already saw. Okay, yeah. Um, Capcom tomorrow, um, Final Fantasy, I think, on Thursday. Yeah, so Thursday. we'll have even more to talk about next time. Yeah. Um, the title of this episode is Who Even Needs E3? And <laughs> it's it's been apt for the last yeah. couple of days because... Honestly, I think I think the presentations already this year have gone longer than like the sum total of all of the E three presentations from last year. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, uh, and we've already had so we had um, the Summer Game Fest was two hours and was extremely boring. Um, yeah, yeah. We had how long was Future Game Show? I don't. I uh, I, I don't think people even watch that. To be honest with you. Um, <laughs> PC game show was also two hours, and then the Xbox and Bethesda showcase was an hour and a half. The future yeah. um, game show was like an hour and a half as well. Yeah, yeah. it's like we're we're going really long. Um, and we kind of just figured that this week, having seen and experienced all of these things together, that you know there wasn't there wasn't too much more to talk about than our highlight reels um originally we were going to talk about sonic this week but uh just due to the volume of other stuff <laughs> that we're going to want to talk about that's that's getting pushed so we will we will discuss it uh have no fear for mm -hmm. those of you that really want to see us tear into uh, all these frontiers trailers but for now we've got <laughs> like what feels like a thousand other trailers yeah. to look at yeah yeah um so in the first half of this episode, we are going to be specifically discussing stuff that we saw in Summer Game Fest and the Devolver Marketing Countdown to Marketing, uh, and just kind of doing a, a, a going going around the room, and everybody picks a topic, and then we discuss. So Bailey, give us give us your first title that you want to talk about from from these presentations. First thing, huh? Um, I mean. For Summer Game Fest, um, let me see, I'm trying to, trying to remember everything, right? It's hard. <laughs> it was a lot. It's, 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 it was a, a lot. lot. There were a lot of, of survival horror space um, shooters. Because yeah. on, that, on that same day, they also had a bunch of Sonic stuff happening. <laughs> um, just a lot happening. Um, come back to me, I'll get back to you. Sure. Nate, how about you? All right. So I actually kind of like an anti-hype moment, because I got, got hyped, but then I got unhyped when I really will. <laughs> But what about that Aliens game, man? Nate. Uh... <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what I want, Nate. I just, like... What I want from Alien at this point is just a sequel to Isolation. 
Yeah. Like, just give me that. Just give me more of that. Isolation was so good. There were a couple kinks that you could iron out, and most people were able to point them out. And if you just did that again, like, that is the soul of this franchise. I feel like every time we try an action title, it just yeah. comes out wrong. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't feel right. Yeah. Like, imagine, imagine if they did, like, you know, a multiplayer shooter set in Silent Hill, you know? Yeah. Where you're where you're just gunning down hordes of pyramid heads. <laughs> you have actually just described my hell. <laughs> it's is dumb. And it's yeah. and we and it was a cinematic trailer. Uh yeah. so no no gameplay or no anything gameplay. like that. Yeah, but it, I think they showed like a snippet of, of what they want gameplay to look like. And it looks like it's an overhead. We've like, seen that before. We, we've, we've heard that story before with this franchise of this is yeah. what we want gameplay to look like. Yeah. But oh, this time we don't have Randy. So maybe that'll <laughs> that'll do something better, right? No pitch for no making no making the money disappear. Maybe. <laughs> um I, uh, <laughs> and many, many other people. So I, I did not, uh, get to actually watch this with you guys. Cause I was, I was mm -hmm. nursing my toothache. Um, so I, I just kind of watched it by myself as yeah. it was happening and stayed out of the voice chat, but I immediately picked up on the fake out, uh, of the goat simulator three trailer, which was very intentionally made, uh, <laughs> to ape the dead Island two launch or announcement trailer from yeah. almost a decade ago. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I and many, 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 many thousands of other people got epically trolled by by what I absolutely thought was finally an update for Dead Island 2, and then goats happen. Yeah, and then goats happen. And I'm Honestly, like... though, like, they very clearly knew what they were doing. They knew what they yeah. were doing because, because Keeley himself was leaning into it, and... Uh, they even like the title itself is a piss take because the game is Goat Simulator 3. There was never a two, they're just yeah. skipping right to three, and the logo is a parody of the Fallout 3 logo. Mm -hmm. Like they know what they're doing. I'm mostly just concerned about this for deadly premonition reasons, where like I don't know if you can recapture what what made the original game so insane and meme worthy. Yeah, yeah. Uh <laughs> I for one have never jumped on the simulator game tre like trend. Like I, I never got well, into it. Th th it's not really quite that. Do you know what Goat Simulator is? No, I, I do not know what it is. I just okay. know it it, it okay. kind of so ate on Goat that Simulator trend. is not actual is not a simulator game in the truest sense of the word. It is basically a meme game, uh, where it's a it's a physics uh based sandbox. Uh, where it's it's like Untitled Goose Game, but without mm. the structure and with a lot more stupid jokes. Oh, okay, um, okay. And a lot of the the comedy comes from like the crazy ways that the physics engine tends to tends to make things happen, where you'll just ragdoll out of like it's a game that's very buggy on purpose because it's funnier that way. Mm -hmm. Like they don't they they when when the game was still like getting updates, they were like. So this bug is in the game and we know about it, but honestly, it's hilarious. So we're just going to leave it in. <laughs> a lot of that, like very much on purpose. So mm. I kind of don't know if they can like recapture that a second time, but I'm excited to watch them try. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I, I definitely because kind of went from kind of hype because I, cause I got trolled by it too. Then I was like, wow, how does this, why does this look worse than the initial <laughs> reveal trailer? And then I was like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey, you got something? Yeah. Well, anything? so there, there's no new games that caught my eye. Um, I mean, it, does, it doesn't have to be new. Yeah. So uh, there, there was some more Cuphead DLC footage. I'm really excited for that. The delicious last course. Yeah. I really, really um, happy for that. So this big final update for Cuphead, um, which is kind of like we know that the show for now yeah. is still going on on Netflix, um, mm -hmm. but I would imagine that you know the people behind it are probably eager to go on and make something yeah. else. They've already made their mm -hmm. truckload of money from this game. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> they don't need more. Money. Cuphead went went very 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 viral. Um, do we know what the scale of this of this expansion is? I think they've. 
I know it's only six dollars. Yeah, but they um, said it's like a whole other island, right? And that's the biggest yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. It, it's like gotten. um, they said they expect like three to four hours. Mm-hmm. Um, that makes sense. I'm yeah. I'm satisfied with that. Yeah. Um, you know, it it's it's <laughs> we're game journalists talking about Cuphead. The jokes Yo, the jokes kind of write themselves. I love yeah. Cuphead, bro. It's one of <laughs> I, I fucking love it. You that can't game. get past the first stage, but you love talking about it. I love yeah. talking about it, man. <laughs> I can't do the parries, man, but I, 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 I fucking love it. I can't so, figure out how to jump. So here, here's what's funny about this is I can't tell if you're ironically liking this or not, Bailey. <laughs> so I, I got the platinum for it in like three days, man. That game is like. Yeah? It's like every fight is like a data fight from Kingdom Hearts. And no, the, my my mind just clicks. It's, the, it's so good. The it, this is where the original, well, not the original, but like the codifier yeah. for the game journalist difficulty know, mode yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. originated was. Oh my god, what was it for? Was it rock paper shotgun? I think it was rock paper shotgun. A guy writing about about Cuphead for rock I paper shotgun. Was, I thought it was IGN, right? I can't remember. It was mm-hmm. one of those two. Yeah, but he was showing two. video of him being unable to get past like a tutorial jump. Um, yeah. <laughs> that was that was it was very like embarrassing. That, that footage is like the tutorial, or just like it tells you how to do the parry, and he just doesn't try to do it. Yep. And... Yeah. <laughs> can't right. read. I can't read, man. Can't read. I'm a journalist. I can't read. What do you expect also, from me? Um, they. <laughs> <laughs> they they showed some more of that One Piece game. That's um that was one out. of the ones I was going to talk about. My yeah. my my favorite part of the new like footage they showed off was Jeff Keighley mispronouncing Luffy's <laughs> name. Yeah, is he what? he says it like Monkey De Luffy or something. Yeah, and I it like it. really threw me off. I want this game to be as good as it could be because, it's like, be. yeah. One Piece oh. has problems, but it doesn't have nearly as many problems as Fairy Tale because Fairy Tale is is you know the 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 Fairy what you what you got in the Amazon box, uh, and One Piece is the what you ordered. Um, yeah, but like <laughs> the Fairy Tale game wasn't half bad. So if mm-hmm. if the if this One Piece JRPG can like live up to the franchise potential. I don't know. I'm hopeful. Like I, I really like the you know the spirit and the energy of One Piece. It's got problems with the way that Oda writes women that he refuses to fix and makes worse every time people complain about it. But mm-hmm. you know, it's enduringly popular for a reason. Uh, and there's a lot of hype generated around it right now because the manga just went on a one month hiatus while he gears up for the final saga. His words. Yeah, his final um, saga. Man. Um, I will say this: this game is the first time that made me even slightly interested in uh, One Piece. So the um, I played a bunch of the One Piece games. The yeah. the the pirate um, warriors game. They they do like a pretty o- okayish job of like trying to like um tell you yeah. the fucking story. Um, this one is the first one that seems like it's gonna actually try to go like in depth with a narrative, and I'm I'm kind of I believe it's original is is why yeah, yeah. it's like is why they're doing that yeah, yeah, yeah um because the problem with so I I've played a lot of Pirate Warriors three and like part of the problem with these games that do this now is um just how much they have to condense in order to get yeah. through a sizable portion of the narrative like mm-hmm. even way back um I played. Uh, one piece grand adventure which was an arena battler i believe it was a, a it was a um an america first or a, or a worldwide first and then japan second uh mm. release that was a sequel to grand battle mm. which was just a fighting game um and even at that point like they get up to i believe the skypea arc but it's still all like extremely condensed down from what it would be if you read the manga or god forbid you tried to catch up watching the anime Mm. um and pirate warriors 3 is even more so because it condenses entire arcs into single stages pirate warriors 3 is like the very beginning to like post time skip shit right you know like i believe it gets right up to dress rosa Mm, yeah 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 Mm. that's right because i remember doflamingo being in the game but i i might be wrong about that oh Um, wait they actually they changed the story when like so like when you got to him in that game they like changed the story to make it like more fit but that yeah, makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, but so, like, because the structure of a 
stage in a warriors game is like and it, it very much its own beast like it's well suited to telling a story like this and like doing a highlight reel and condensing stuff down but one piece is just so fucking massive that it mm -hmm. it's like an impossible task to try and actually recap everything in the span of one like reasonably length video game yeah so yeah. i'm excited to see them do just an original narrative written by oda that doesn't have to you know put in the work of catching you up and it can just like be its own one-off thing yeah um so that's that's cool i want this game to be good i really really do um i have i have some anti-hype um yeah god that black adam thing was weird wasn't it yo the rock came in bro it was awesome yo the rock was shirtless the oh. rock was shirtless and you know you'd think that that would make it more interesting for me but it just it just didn't that, that whole thing kind of pissed me off a little bit because like it it just kind of like if you're gonna show us like blatant like advertisements like at least make them game related you know this, like yeah this was a movie trailer just like straight up just give us like a new movie trailer <laughs> like, and then and then a Fortnite promo yeah like at least with Fortnite, you know like it's it's a game you know like it's the same fucking fucking medium and I don't, so obviously someone had to pay a lot of money to get this entire, you know, movie spot in this video game presentation. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I, Black Adam's going to flop. I can, I can almost guarantee you that. Really? I don't think that enough people give a crap about this character Yeah, the, because oh, like, no. I, I'm, I'm a DC nerd. I'm very familiar with this character. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. like, DC movies in general are in such rough shape that I don't see this one breaking the trend by any means, even though The Rock is like, no, I want to expand the universe of Black Adam, and I want to do sequels and shit. And it's like, you're not you're yeah. not going to get to. This movie's going to bomb. The Flash movie's going to bomb. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, especially since uh, Ezra Miller is crazy yeah they're they're um they're they're gonna poison the whole thing uh when's the black adam podcast episode whenever we actually watch it but yeah, i don't know anything about black adam almost like right. i think maybe he's a, a shazam villain. He's, yeah yeah effectively which is like i don't i don't get why this character is getting a getting a movie it, yeah i really i really do I, not i don't get it either because i don't think the shazam movie while i liked it did, didn't do like gangbusters no it didn't do gangbusters but it made sense because like it's literally it's a teenage coming of age like you you, yeah. you can see why this exists in a stranger things universe um yeah. with with black adam like this this reminds me of when they announced the morbius movie like and i'm not even talking about like how it exists now and it's me in its memetically awful state i'm talking about way back when they announced it and we all went why <laughs> why <laughs> well, well here's the thing at least with morbius he is his own like anti-hero thing too like, but he has no name recognition like venom has name recognition well, and also colin. he's already been in a big movie that did, Neither well. did fucking blade but... colin morbius now has name recognition though yes yes morbius now has has uh more name recognition than he has ever deserved <laughs> I, my, I favorite like tweet, my favorite tweet, my favorite tweet, before we, before we move on, my favorite tweet about that was someone, uh, quote, tweeting the, the joke that Jared Leto posted on Twitter where he, where he was like looking at a script that said Morbius 2, it's Morbin time. Yeah. And the quote, the, the tweet was like, I don't like this. I don't like the idea that Jared Leto has, knows about memes. I don't like the idea of Jared Leto laughing. It was bad, mom. <laughs> yeah. Um, Okay, Nate, you're next. I'm next, eh? I'm next, eh? Uh, hmm. There was a couple of games that that helped, that they my up. Uh, apparently, uh, the big one that kind of caught my eye that I really looked interesting was American Arcadia. That one does look neat. That got shown also at Future Games, didn't it? I think so, yeah. I'm pretty sure. It was one uh, of those, oh, we, we showed this twice, huh? Yeah. <laughs> And it was it was, it looked like really interesting when I saw it. And I was like, oh, I'd, I'd play this just for like fun, um, because it, it looks it looks fun to me, um, and, and it has that weird uh, Truman Show esque kind of thing going on with it. I mean, it's quite literally Truman Show 
because that's the, that's like the whole plot is just Truman Show, but it's a whole it's a whole mm. uh, city. Oh boy, mm. this, um, is, this is not good. What? <laughs> what? No, just hidden bass garbage. Don't don't worry about oh, it. Oh God, God, who did did uh, ASAP die? Uh, we're we're gonna learn on the fourteenth. Oh, Nate, we're gonna learn about her fate. I I already watched look at this her now. get get gutted in Insomnia. So she's 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 gonna die before <laughs> Nevada yeah. Initiative is out. What happened to the other the other? We don't know. Person. We don't know. We don't know, Colin. Okay, we're gonna find out. So but... this this confirms to me though. We'll talk about this later. This is not relevant. <laughs> it's not this really is not relevant. relevant. We're gonna go off topic. But no, um, the, the the hidden bats ARG does not fucking matter. It might. We don't know, man. Much like the, like the points in Russia right now, it just does not matter. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bailey, do you do you have anything else you want to talk about from these two? I got I got plenty more stuff. I just don't want to skip um, over you. We have yeah, plenty yeah. more stuff from the Summer Game Fest. Yes. Yeah, oh yeah. Really? Okay. I have go, I have I have it. several more anti hypes. <laughs> I I, I <laughs> would maybe assume the not dead space. Uh Callisto Protocol honestly does look pretty cool the more that yeah. we see of it. Um, no, I'm, I'm really excited for it. Really? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um it's it, it is just gonna be dead space for a lot of better turns, but I mean that's more dead space than we've gotten in a long time. So mm-hmm. it's going up against the actual dead space remake. We'll have to see. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm getting both of them just because I'm a fucking dead space simp. You know what? <laughs> you know what? I'm not exactly simping for right away, though. What? Um, the fucking Solace gate or the Fort Solace. <laughs> What's the game? That was one of those where we were all like, what? is happening yeah and should i care <laughs> and what gets me is that they they announce it and like oh boy troy baker troy baker <laughs> troy pogger oh you know there was the midnight sun that looks kind of cool midnight suns does look cool yeah, yeah me and my friend are hyped for midnight suns um that i did i did not realize spider-man was going to be in it so well, yeah, he's and, gonna sell the game man yeah and they've actually I'm surprised i'm surprised about that because you would like you would think that that would mean that he was exclusive to playstation but he's not no. not not based on anything we've heard no yeah yeah no and from what my friend said just to take this with a grain of salt that he saw somewhere that they say that this is uh the ps5 spider-man canon spider-man mm, interesting really? is is yeah. that Oh, that's actually pretty wild that that's true. He, that's so it's he specifically said. Spider-Man remastered. Yeah. <laughs> the remastered Spider-Man. Probably. Bro, it, when he takes off his thing and you see that fucking, like, <clears throat> not uh, Tom Holland face. God damn it. Oh, dear Lord. Um, anti-hype. What, what the hell was all of that for Call of Duty? Call like oh my god they made such a big deal out of it they were like this is the next big chapter in in the call of duty franchise this is gonna change everything and it's literally just call of duty modern warfare 2 you just don't understand call yeah <laughs> you just i just don't understand there, the nuance like going like did they already release modern warfare 2 this this game <laughs> The, the, in this confusingly named franchise, like it's only getting worse. Yeah. Especially, they never actually did a remaster for the campaign for Modern Warfare Three. I will point out, people are still waiting for that. Uh, they did, they did both one and two, but not three. Um, this was, this was a, this was a lot of buildup for just Call of Duty, uh, and it's still coming to to all platforms, including last gen. Uh, yeah, I don't know how that's how how well it's going to work on last gen, considering what it looked like graphically. Um, but I yeah. I think that it's time that <sighs> WB for once is doing it right, and they cut the cord. Other franchises need to cut the cord. I know it sucks, but <laughs> yeah. What do you mean by that? We cut needed- the 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 eighth gen version um because yeah. oh, gotham oh, yeah. knights is not the the, yeah. the 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 yeah the yeah. the ps4 and xbox one versions of gotham knights are canceled they are they are mm-hmm. fully committing to mm-hmm. which makes sense at this point like i know that it's still hard to get uh ps5s but 
at this point games are being made on that level and then having to be ported down to yeah. the ps4 and xbox one and god forbid the switch hey man the cord the cord needs to be cut or you need to make sure that you're making your game for the ps4 and xbox one and that it's just going to be better on current gen consoles yeah that's that's just where it is uh, can we switch to devolver for a second um we're gonna we're gonna spend some time on the biggest anti-hype don't you worry uh <laughs> but um devolver devolver's presentation was super fun as as usual um yeah. bailey had no idea what the hell was happening I, the entire I don't, time I don't, I don't understand devolver i'll, um, I'll be honest with you <laughs> But all of the games looked cool. I specifically wrote up, um, oh my god, Angerfoot. I keep forgetting what the title of it is because it's such a weird title. Um, which is an itch, which is a game that's been on Itchio Early Access for a while from uh, the team that made Broforce and Genital Jousting, and it looks cool. I'm really excited for the mm -hmm. Plucky Squire, and I will fight whoever else wants to review it. That is mine. I I think mine. you'll be the only one, Colin. Don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, I think you'll be uh, the only one. It looks one. so cute. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks cute, but like. I'm not nothing I'm dying for right now. It looks so cute. Um what else did we get from Devolver? Oh my gosh. Um uh Lost uh Cult of the Lamb looks really good. Right. Yes. Um uh, we have a we have a preview of Cult of the Lamb from a previous uh demo that was released. So if you're on yep. our YouTube channel, go check that out. Um it yep. it it looks very neat. Um yes. and then Card Shark. Um yeah, which, which I uh, believe we already have a, we already I think we already have our review up. No, we didn't review card shark. Oh, we did. Oh, we did. Okay. No, I thought I, I, I thought I I thought I saw that we had we, we, we had it. We didn't have the capacity for it. Yeah. At the time. Um, oh. and then skate story looks trippy and weird, and I want it. Skate skate story looks really fucking cool, actually. Yeah, yeah. The skate story looks really cool. Kind of reminds me of like a old school Tony Hawk games, but you're going through hell. It reminds me of like Tony Hawk meets Sayonara Wild Hearts. Oh man, okay. Sayonara Wild Hearts, yeah. I don't know. Um, okay. okay. Just with like the super trippy art style and it seemed like the trailer was focused a lot on the music and it looks like very, yeah, it, that, that's kind of what it reminded me of. I'm really excited for all of these games. Devolver always knocks it out of the park uh, yeah, in yeah. terms of making entertaining presentations that <laughs> take the full piss out of out of. I did like seeing and everyone else. Yeah, I, yeah. I did like Suda there. That was fucking weird. Suda in the in the mech suit. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the hell was happening, but that was pretty cool. Um, and someone was like, "What is like? You guys don't make these games?" And and Nina Struthers is like, "No, we publish these yeah. games. It's the same as making them, but without all the effort." Yeah. <laughs> no, the entire presentation made me laugh. Like it, it, what was literally like a TV show that strung together trailers, which like. I, I like that. I like that idea. I hope more people start doing that. Um, however, did you guys see Neon White? Could. Neon White looks cool. Yeah, Neon White looks really good. Do you want to talk about talk about Neon White? Yeah. So it kind of gives me this weird. Um, we, we're we're gonna have like a, a big powwow about the last thing that we're all thinking about. So <laughs> talk about yeah. Neon White first. Anything else that you want to get out? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the the game looks super interesting to me. Um, it kind of gives me like a weird, almost uh, no more heroes esque vibe to it, and I'm not sure if that's just me projecting shit onto it, or if mm. that if it was kind of like one of the inspirations for it, because um... and it's out like this week, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's like out the 16th. So I don't know if we I don't know if we even got a key for it, but. Mm -mm. It it looks cool as hell. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So, uh, my one last brief anti hype is uh, layers of fears because why? Um, <laughs> this 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 almost feels like a game that's being made as a distraction from the thing that we all are pretty sure that Bluebird Team is working on apart from this. Yeah. <laughs> but. I don't know. The, the first two games are are underwhelming. 
uh and i have i have no real confidence that just because they got their shiny unreal engine 5 on that this one's going to be any better yeah, yeah um but obviously the big anti-hype uh what was definitely supposed to be the big reveal that they saved for the end and ended up being a whimpering fart of a nothing because it was accidentally leaked by sony several hours before the presentation started <laughs> is the last of us part one Poggers, poggers. Yeah. Uh, I've gotten into several fights about, oh, about this oh, game. <laughs> bro, people are fucking defending this, and I'm like, yeah, um, it looks nicer, but The Last of Us Part 1 holds up so well of the original game on PS4. Like, I, I did not need this remake. I am not going to spend 70 bucks so they can just show me, like, better, tracing. better graphics with ray tracing. Yeah. But Nate, you're not a true fan, then. I, I guess I'm not. I guess I'm not. I hold up. I hold up The Last of Us as one of the best games of all time. Like just, just bar none. No further qualifiers. Like it genuinely is a masterpiece. It was at the time I played it when it came out. I played it again on the PS4. It mm -hmm. just is that good. I will give you that there are a couple of mechanics that the sequel improved on, but I'm also on record saying The Last of Us Part Two is my least favorite game of all time. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. So I, I, I will I'm, take or leave. I will take or leave. You know oh. anything that's specifically being migrated in from part two. Yeah. Um. But the two main points that I have about The Last of Us Part One, uh, and and please please, Part One is specifically this remake, as opposed to just The Last of Us is the original game or the remastered version. The Last of Us Part One, number one. It looks better. Does it look full price seventy dollars better? Maybe not. Maybe. Number two, oh. was this a good use of all the people involved's time, talent, and funding? It's the best game ever made, Paul. No, because there's a lot that Naughty Dog could have been doing instead of this. This was this was a B team. Uh, we've been hearing about this project for almost like a year now, I yeah. want to say, in, in rumors. This was a team that was originally working on a different project that became a remake of Uncharted 1, which I would argue was needed much more heavily than this. Yeah. Um, and then Sony didn't like that, and it became a remake of The Last of Us. Um, and presumably it was greenlit, A, because it's a cash grab, and B, because the TV show is coming out next year. Yeah. Um, but it's not necessary. <laughs> yeah. No, that's... like, especially so, so with all these other remakes, like, most of the time, it's at least a game that's not literally available on the platform that you're, that you're going to be playing the new one on. But you yeah. can, you can go, Last of Us Remastered is in the PS Plus collection. You can just go download it if you own a PS5 and you have PlayStation Plus. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, it it's so bad and it comes off like you said like a money grab because that's what it feels like and it feels like Druckmann stroking his ego again he had almost no involvement with this project though because he's so busy like like he was busy mm. working on uh factions which is still not out they say they'll have more information next year which is insane yeah. like at some point i guess this just became a full live service title but the fact that that couldn't have been made clearer sooner says a lot about the way that this studio is managed, which is poorly. Uh, yeah. I, I have no respect for Neil Druckmann. I think he lucked his way into the first Last of Us game mm. uh, and then proved that he had no idea what he's do what he was doing in uh -oh. terms of the development of the second one. Yeah. Uh -oh. We heard legendary stories about how much they were crunching on The Last of Us Part Two. Yeah. Like, it, it, was, it was bad. It wasn't a fun. They sent people to the freaking hospital for yeah, after watching bad, gore yeah. <laughs> videos. So I have no respect for this man. Um, no. But he clearly, like, I don't, we don't know what he's working on now because it's not factions. Factions has been handed off to a different team. Um, and presumably, <laughs> again, it has evolved into a full multiplayer game. Yeah. Um, with more info coming next year. He's working on the Jack and Daxter re um, remake, Colin. You know what? You know what? <laughs> I would prefer that. I would take it. I would that take seems, a Jack that 3 seems... remake. <laughs> I think that a new look at Jack and Daxter would be extremely cool of them to do because, like, you know, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart had a whole lot of hype behind it. 
Yeah. And clearly, you know, we're we're coming into an age where mascot platformers can be cool again. So why not more Jack and Daxter? Why yeah. not, you know, a, a reimagining of the first game or even like, you know, a full trilogy, you know, all I mean, all tied more like, closely together. I like Spire, maybe. I, cool. I would I would be down for that. I would be down for Spire. I would be down for a Daxter game again for another daxter game i i liked the bug hunting from the original daxter game i think really, i still think that, like i still think i still think that daxter should get a port it's still yeah. it's still stuck on the psp for no reason yeah daxter, the ratchet and clank psp games got ports daxter is my first uh psp game and my first jack and daxter game it's a really good game mm -hmm. so this yeah. this game um I, I don't know how well The Last of Us Part 1 is going to so actually, they actually do. Um, those collector's editions all sold out, apparently. Yeah. But we don't know how many of them they made. And we don't I know guess, if that's, like, so. a scarcity but tactic. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Um, Because, yeah, yeah. like, you know, I, I go to bat for Sony way too often. Um, Frankly, it's a thing that I should stop doing uh, <laughs> so readily, but... <laughs> It you know it, making them making them look sold out almost immediately and then dribbling in restocks is a way mm. that almost guarantees that those restocks are going to sell because that introduces the fear yeah, of missing sense. out. Yeah. Um. Not that I'm you know, I'm I'm saying that this could be what they're doing. I'm not saying that I have any proof that this is what's happening, but it, it wouldn't surprise me here. Um. Mm -hmm. But it was really comical the way that this was announced. They clearly were intending for it to be a huge slam dunk, except A, we all like, knew it was happening but, for months. And B, would that it was... even like surprise anybody though? Like no. I, I no. don't I don't <laughs> like No, that. but they 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 like it was one of those things where like there at least would have been wind in the sails, but it was all taken out by the fact that Sony accidentally listed the game on PSN for pre order that morning. I'm not sure yeah. if you saw hours oh. early. Ornate. Um, I I think like twenty minutes after that leak happened, mm -hmm. Jeff went on Twitter and he, and he just did like the shrug emoji. And that was, <laughs> yeah, that's all you could do is. Thank I mean, God they didn't. Thank God this was like live because imagine if he'd been like, and now our grand <laughs> reveal. <laughs> I think yeah. I would prefer that honestly. <laughs> just for that of it. It was awkward. It was awkward, but it would have been more awkward if we had like if it had literally already leaked beforehand. Yeah uh okay we're gonna take a quick break uh don't go anywhere when we come back we're gonna talk about a, a bunch more presentations because this never ends uh <laughs> we'll, yeah. we'll be right back all right so the second half of this week's episode we are going to uh be discussing what is honestly three presentations but only one of which is especially worth talking about um so we're going to lump together the future game show presentation the pc game show and the xbox and bethesda showcase and we're not going to bury the lead because the biggest news uh of of the day of the week um especially awesome. if you are if you're uh someone who likes noisy pixel yeah uh is persona is coming to not switch yeah. everything else though <laughs> it, it's the most like alice thing i've i've ever seen happen yeah um so we got we got confirmation for game pass um we don't know anything besides that it's coming to game pass <laughs> yeah i'm going i can't put a fine enough point on that because the internet is going nuts trying to to work out what the hell any of this means all we know is it's coming to game pass most Microsoft games that have come to uh, Windows have, have have come to Steam. Uh, I don't see any reason why Atlas would give up the sales for these two titles to be on streaming. Uh, but, you know. Yeah, so far, no one knows anything. Yeah, um, know I've made false assumptions. People have been making false assumptions. I don't know. My counterpoint is that they have not specified Steam in yeah. any of their statements yet, which is why I'm wary. But who the fuck knows? I don't think Microsoft usually specifies Steam. No, yeah, Microsoft do. doesn't. Because Microsoft has under no obligation to promote Steam in their presentations because it's their show, not Steam's, you yeah. know? Hmm. But okay. usually there's clarifying something from Atlas saying, oh, also this. So, so that's is, kind of what's going on. 
it is still Sunday. So we are going to have to wait until people are actually at work and the PR people have gotten to start actually responding to any of this. Yeah. What I'm hoping for is to wake up tomorrow and be like, hey guys, they're all coming to Steam. Th like, that would be cool. That's what I want to see happen. Um, because this this Xbox showcase, the Xbox showcase was weird, like compared yeah. to what we're used to seeing for State of Play for Nintendo Direct, because yeah. there were no like interstitials, there was no announcer or anything. It was just trailer, world premiere, trailer, world premiere, launch exclusive, trail. Like there was yeah. there was no preamble of any kind. They just went in. Um, so it was mm -hmm. a little unsettling, but it was obvious that it was just a press play thing happen so clearly they finished this on friday and scheduled it scheduled the stream for sunday and then yeah, went yeah. home <laughs> um so um the other the other big news is obviously uh people are people are somewhat upset over the fact that we are getting persona 3 portable specifically this is very divisive the better um, version yeah. maybe. So per, for those of you that are not aware, um, there are three versions of Persona 3. There is the launch version. There is Persona 3 FES, which also came out for the PlayStation 2, um, which keeps the launch version's uh, automatic party combat. So you only give specific orders to the protagonist and you cannot give direct orders to the rest of the party. You can just indicate how you want them to behave, but also yeah. includes uh, the full overworld exploration um, additional voice acting i believe or did yeah. did portable have more voice acting um and uh the answer which is a post game uh expansion that nobody likes um yeah. <laughs> and it also allows your uh hero to equip any weapon he wants yes there, there is no weapon restriction um <clears throat> persona 3 portable came out for the psp uh, is in some ways a downgrade. Uh, the the overworld, so everywhere that isn't the dungeon exploration, is done basically entirely top down or visual novel style. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but with the trade off being that uh, there's a whole uh, female protagonist route that is significantly different in terms of the way that she interacts with the other characters. Yeah. Um, I love the female protagonist. I, I adored her in Persona Q2. She's one of my favorite characters. Um, but for that reason, the fact that like there's a whole other experience to be had with the game, a lot of people do consider Portable to be the definitive edition, but it is still pol polarizing enough that uh, people yeah. are fighting about it on Twitter. So. You know the copium column? What's the copium? <laughs> the, the fucking major copium right now? Yeah, yeah that, I've heard this. Is that fucking... <laughs> I don't think about this. Yeah. Is that fucking Sony's... Well, I'm fucking holding the Persona 3 definitive fucking remake in their vault right now, and then they're not so... <laughs> No. Yeah. No. And like, here's the thing. Here, here is the thing. Is so the answer is long and boring and dumb, and <laughs> it by itself is not really a reason to like. The answer, if you must experience it, is best experienced just looking it up on YouTube. Uh, I think honestly I, speaking, I think the story is pretty good. It's, it's, it's just like playing it is not. Yeah, it's like it's fun. grindy. Yeah. Um, you don't have the protagonist anymore because you're playing as I guess. Um, okay. Yeah. I mean, and so that means that your team is significantly less versatile than it was before. Um, no, it's not. And, uh oh, fight, you, fight, fight. You, you can. She has the power of the wild card. Oh, I forgot fight, about that. Fight, I'm fight. sorry. Colin's That's wrong. my bad. Yeah. Um, but it is grindy. It is you know, grindy. It is, it is hell. grindy. <laughs> it is very grindy. Uh, mm -hmm. it's it's more difficult than it than it needs to be. Um, because we're journalists, you know, we can't yeah. we can take that. Uh, it also removes the dating and social aspect completely. Yeah, it is yeah. it is just a dungeon crawl. Um, mm -hmm. it what it sort of reminds me of is um, the tower from Final Fantasy X Two International. If you if, if anybody got that far in in the remasters, it's very yeah. much that. It's kind of that. Um. So I don't think that there was really a possibility of marrying the two. Um, I, I feel like, you know, you'd have to redo a bunch of stuff in the answer in order to account for the female protagonist, potentially. Um, Cause all yeah, references to the protagonist would have to be re-recorded uh, yeah. with the, with the different pronoun. Um, the, the whole thing is kind of a mess because like, I, I do prefer like portable, but like, in this specific like like bringing it to calls so like, like bring it to consoles is like a pretty weird move because yeah it doesn't look good <laughs> it, not when, only when you see it yeah 
Yeah, and it's not only that, it's like, there's no anime cutscenes. There's no anime cutscenes in it either. Um, what? No, it has... No, oh, most of them are stills. Them, right? Most of them have just been reduced to stills. Mm, yeah, yo, I forgot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that does suck. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. So, like I said, it's a downgrade in in yeah. a lot right. of unfortunate ways. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. But we're going to have to wait and see what comes of this um we're recording this on sunday night um because we couldn't we couldn't wait till tomorrow for the capcom showcase uh or nate would would have painfully little time to edit this Uh, um yeah so uh, i don't know we might we might do uh a follow-up uh in in next week's episode for those of you that aren't you know directly keeping track with this what i can't i can't imagine that you wouldn't be uh Mm -hmm. if you care so just pay attention on twitter we'll we'll tweet if they if they issue a, a clarification, um, but anyway, in terms of the uh, the rest of these presentations, uh, I would like to start us off with an anti hype, and my anti hype is for a thing that wasn't there. The thing that wasn't there was the Outer Worlds two. Where was it? Um, oh, you know, I didn't think about that. I told hmm. a bunch of my friends, ping me if ping me when the Outer Worlds two comes up, and we saw two other things from Obsidian and not that, and I'm mad about it. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be fair, grounded uh, that we've been working on for a while. I I was in, I have been playing the early access version for quite a while, and it, it's pretty fun. Uh, so that's good. Uh, I have an anti hype thing too, but we'll finish with this first. What's your What's your anti hype? Um, Oh, you're not going to be happy when you hear it. So oh, I, really? I, Me. I, last year, I finally went through the DLCs for Outer Worlds. I thoroughly enjoyed both of them. Mm-hmm. Um, and the idea of just the Outer Worlds expanded to, like, potentially even the scope of, like, Fallout 4 sounds amazing to me if obsidian yeah. can pull it off and i believe that obsidian can pull it off um no, so no. that is something that i am really looking forward to having uh, a better pc this fall once the new nvidia cards come out and i can build a new machine uh to to play that on yeah um because i'm not i'm not getting an xbox x until it gets redesigned because i know it will um because microsoft mm. is trigger happy with that yeah, uh, yeah. but Grounded, I I actually pinged, like, was talking to people because I was like, did this game come out already? And they were like, it's been an early access and it didn't have a story mode. And I was like, oh, yeah. so that's what they're adding. It yeah. looks neat. I'm happy for people that are happy. Yeah, well, it's just a survival game with a story mode, which uh, I think survival games kind of need. So it's, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. I just, I just, I just wanted my goofy anti-capitalist space game back. Yeah. I just wanted it back. <laughs> no, just... no, I, I understand. I, I love Otter Wild. World. Outer Worlds, Outer not worlds. Outer Wilds, oh, different game. game, which is funnier because I hate the Outer Wilds. I oh, absolutely that's a hot hate take. it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have a hot take episode. Yeah, but all right. You know what wasn't shown? What was it? Fable. Oh yeah, you know I am really I'm surprised, surprised that it that. exists. I, like I don't. Fable is Fable is in my list of games that I don't believe this game exists until I until I see more of it. Um, I was and... hoping they would show something to like about it. I've been I've been excited for it. It's the reason I have an Xbox Series X is when they went Fable. Like I don't not want it, but like it's like it's like present day uh, Bloodlines two, where like mm. it's been through so much trouble development that like i don't believe that this game is real until i have it <laughs> yeah, yeah no that's fair i mean i just hope it's not a duke nukem forever situation <laughs> i don't i don't think i would go that far no not with this they'll cancel it before it gets to that point they're yeah, not gonna waste yeah. money on fable they're not gonna bursard it after after Lionhead crashed and burned which is sad. But I had studios had a bunch of games I cared about. I still play the movies every once in a while. Highly, highly underappreciated game. Yeah, no, the movies was great. Um, black and white, black and white two were really good. Um, like I said, I play Fable at least at least once every two or three years. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bailey. I don't know if I have any like fans I hype. You don't have but to have we, an anti-hype. We okay, okay, I just okay, wanted okay, to start with the okay. stuff that wasn't there. Okay. <laughs> um I mean, okay, so like that first half honestly just kind of fucking put me to sleep. It um, was, there wasn't a lot. The only the only big thing from the first half was Hollow Knight. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, Hollow Knight was fucking crazy. Yeah. 
I was fucking oh, losing my mind. I was like, in the Xbox? I can't showcase? believe that that's where that happened. I the can't Xbox believe it. Showcase? The Nintendo Direct people have been begging for it for so long, and it didn't even happen in a Nintendo Direct. No. It's really funny, honestly. <laughs> that's wow. speaking of vaporware. That's been vaporware for a long time. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, um, the, well, so I, I actually didn't know about this, but apparently, um, because it's confirmed for Game Pass on day day one, that means it must be coming out within the, the next year, apparently. That's that's what I've been reading. So Microsoft's big thing for this presentation, uh, specifically because they are very aware of the mm-hmm. fact that Xbox has no games right now. Like, <laughs> it, we're looking at a really, really light uh, 2022. What do mm-hmm. they have? Because they, they made that, that visual with, yeah. I think, everything that was in this presentation. Yeah, yeah. Um, is it in here? I don't think it's in here. That's weird. You would think it would be. Um, but yeah, I would I would expect it hopefully like early 2023. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Um I'm really excited for that game. My boyfriend uh adores the original game. He played he played so much of it. So I'm mm-hmm. I'm really happy for all the people that have been excited for this for a long time. Mm-hmm. All right. Um I am cautiously optimistic about the Fallout 76 expansion. Yo! Yeah, it looks like it could be good. So I don't, I, the, the, they kept saying, oh, the pit is, is, a, is a beloved location. I don't know that that's true. I think that the pit was probably one of the more forgettable uh, expansions uh, for for really any of the Fallout games, but yeah, yeah. Fallout seventy six has s- quietly slowly been getting decent mm-hmm. since it came out. Um, I've played I've played quite a bit of it at this point. Um, it's you know there's still a lot of kinks to be worked out, but like I think that it has proved that even even if like the character writing isn't isn't one of the the greatest strengths of these games anymore, that world building still is. Um, because uh, it's clear that they still want to put things into this universe with a purpose um to the point where like they even like wrote a detailed and like interesting explanation in universe for that battle royale mode because they added the vault that it took place in to fallout 76's overworld a couple patches later and it had a whole original story about like how the supercomputer that was installed in the vault uh had a purpose of figuring out what makes a good leader and like mm. there there was this process of picking the next overseer that was suggested by the one other uh human that was secretly sealed in the vault that the residents didn't know about and they they just kept the computer just kept running experiments and experiments and experiments and the final one that it decided on after acting relentlessly cruel to these people to try and get them to to narrow down this selection was last man standing and it gave everyone guns and told them to murder each other. <laughs> and I'm like, that's very Fallout. That is that is that is pretty a pretty ingenious way of justifying this stupid thing everyone made fun of. So yeah. I don't know. I'm hoping that it's good. I'm hoping that it doesn't launch with a shit ton of bugs, and I'm hoping that the developers were treated well this time because yeah. they were not originally. Um, this mm-hmm. was another case of Bethesda telling a studio that they have 18 months to make a full fucking game here's all of our assets go <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, nate you're up i'm up um so i'm i'm cracking my head because i actually just watched the microsoft game show because i i actually missed uh most of it actually mm-hmm. um but do you, was... do you need me to come back to you yeah uh okay bailey do you have do you have another one I do, in fact, have another one. Let me just check the site for one second because I forgot the name. It's, um... Uh, oh, yeah, it's Ravenlock. Yeah. So that Ravenlock... That looked cool. It, oh, yeah. it looks like a pixel slash Minecraft fused kind of art style. Like, it looks really fucking cool. Mm-hmm. Um... And I wish they showed off some, like, so, like, we don't know, like, what it's actually about, um, but it looks like an action kind of an adventure, kind of, like, actually, oh, yeah, so it's, 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 like, a full-on, like, action game, 
Um, I like the mixed art style, like the voxel style. Um, mm -hmm. It reminds me of like 3D dot game heroes, just on a on a like a bigger scale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, apparently, they've made more than one of these games because it says that this is the oh yeah, this is the third in a trilogy. What? Huh. But not like not like a story connected trilogy, oh, like a like, like a fuck? trilogy of games made with this art style. So I'll have to take a look at the Ooh. other two. Um, yeah, yeah. So, uh, the other two. So the the developer is uh, Coco Cucumber, um, <laughs> and the other titles uh, are Echo Generation and River Bond. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this looks like a really neat game. Um, I'm I'm very interested to see how this turns out yeah um and i'm hoping that you know it looks like it needs a little more polish from the trailer but that's true of a lot of things so mm -hmm. i'm hoping that 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 gets uh ironed out because this it it looks really promising and you would hope so being shown at a platform this big i think there were like two hundred thousand people watching just on the youtube stream yeah. um which is more than uh we're watching uh the state of play last week i think if yeah, i remember correctly because i think that capped out at 180 um i i just um uh, realized what my anti-hype was calling what's your anti-hype yeah what is it gonna fucking i know for this gonna fucking hate me no sonic frontiers man <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have to be there though like that's the thing is like <laughs> Because IGN is getting, you know, first dibs on on all the Sonic Frontiers info, it doesn't have to have a bigger because it, you know they're they're running it as as top of the page news on the biggest video game news website in the world. So it, they needed to to air some grievances though, I'll say that. Are we gonna, are we gonna talk about Sonic? <laughs> no, We're gonna talk about today. Sonic probably next week, because next <laughs> week, um Next week, we'll only have a couple of smaller presentations to look at. It's the Capcom on the Square Enix one. Mm -hmm. um, and the Square Enix is probably just going to be stuff that we already know about. Um, it's, and it, maybe um, it's uh, only FF7, yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're, we're predicting they'll probably talk about First Soldier for a minute. They'll probably uh, give us a look at Ever Crisis. And then they'll have uh, probably a reveal trailer for uh, 7 Remake Part 2. That's, That's cool. what I'm expecting. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have, I also have an anti-hype and this, you know, a lot of this presentation I like, so don't, don't be alarmed by the number of anti-hypes that I have. Um, but this is one that the whole internet is clowning on, uh, and it's As Dusk Falls. What game was that? The motion comic one. Oh yeah. <laughs> where, where the director or, or whoever like came out on a stage beforehand to introduce it and literally sounded like she was making a pitch for a David Cage game up to the point where she used the word emotions. <laughs> oh, this like it's written like a prestige oh. TV show. Uh, and, and you'll get to experience it with your friends and the game just looks awful. So the awful, awful. Mm, no one should try this. The what, what's throwing me off about this is like, I don't know how to like, so like, the environments look kind of cool, right? It's just like mm -hmm. the models with the faces because they they don't animate like it's like a purely like static thing, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it just looks really fucking awkward whenever they have these emotional things happening on screen. It, what right? it kind of reminds me of is that it looks like they took pictures of real people and yeah, tried yeah, to stylize yeah. them. Yeah, it does not look like like it's... real people rotoscoped in. Yeah, yes, it looks yes, yes. really weird. Like I I kind of like. I I might have been writing a thing a while this one was being shown. Um, like it it just doesn't. <laughs> Wait a second. Sorry, there's a part in this trailer. Um, oh my god, where they're like running through like the city, right? Mm -hmm. And there's a shot of this guy holding a gun. What what is this? Sh you have to watch it to actually know what I'm talking about. It looks so weird. It it just it just doesn't it just doesn't look good. Okay. I'll post the the shot for you. It's see. like, and you know, I would love for the writing in this game to be good, but that <laughs> art style is Look just going to be distractingly bad. <laughs> Look at that yeah. is the problem. <laughs> yeah, but but you see what I mean, right? Billy? Yeah, it's just it's not. 
it's like this weird like it's it's the uncanny valley of the uncanny valley oh yeah. my god the vibes yeah. are are rancid it's just... yeah yeah v- vibes are off yeah but, this is really weird but you know i don't think it's safe to call it bad yet it's, it's just really off-putting yeah uh you know what game looked really good though what game looked really good uh redfall looks actually pretty good oh my god redfall does look really good um i mean it's arcane so yeah it number one that's me number two oh. uh <laughs> num- number two uh i i trust this studio a lot um mm-hmm. you know i just i just played uh and put death loop as one of my my favorite games of last year it was my honorary mention on my top five list uh because yeah. i thought it was fantastic um so i'm 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 hoping i'm hoping it's good um but i also this is this is one with all of these uh xbox exclusives i'm gonna have a hard time like justifying playing it right away because i don't do game pass for all the reasons that i've already talked about the reasons that i don't like game pass um Mm. so i would have to actually buy them for a pc or when i eventually get an xbox so this looks like one i'm gonna hold off on um, play later but it's coming out i think october next year or something like it, it's really it just late says 2023 yeah it just says 2023 let me check wait because i thought it was zario said it was yeah um um i i want to be excited for starfield now that we've finally seen it, but it genuinely does just look it's, like Fallout 4 in space. It, it is a Bethesda game through and through, which, yeah, you know, cool. probably means it's going to be really good. Um, And I'm going to sit there and I'm going to play it. I'm probably probably means like it's it. going to be a time sink. Yeah. Which, cool. Like, if that's what you're into, um, yeah. that's one of the things that I have found redeeming about Fallout 76 is, like, it recreates something that I really like about the vibe of uh three in new vegas mm. being just wandering the wasteland and coming across shit like yeah. there's a lot of that in fallout 76 because the map is so fucking huge um so starfield looks like it's just gonna be an even bigger scope but what's going to be key is is going to be the quality of the narrative tying all of that together because you know these games are kind of known for being big and empty with extremely forgettable stories Mm. um how does the plot of skyrim go i don't fucking remember (laughs) i i I can tell you oh let's go nate tell us right now i remember parthenax he's the only thing that i remember yeah so essentially you are a dragon born who has the the blood of dragons inside of you. Oh, sure. um, you have been arrested for speaking into Skyrim. <laughs> that, that, that is the canon reason why you ca- ca- got captured in the beginning. But there wasn't a canon reason because you were supposed to come up with it yourself. No, the, the canon reason is that you snuck, but you got caught snuck, sneaking into it. That's dumb. Yeah. Ah. Uh, um. From <laughs> there, you escape. Uh and then you can either get yourself embroiled into the conflict of the Nords versus the Imperials. Um, well, like I've, I have memories of the Civil War plot. I'm talking about the main plot of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, essentially what's happening is that the, the big dragon guy has come back to life um, be- because, it's because of some reason. <laughs> um, it's it actually, they actually don't specify. There's a, there's a theory that he was actually teleported through time when oh, the elder yo, time travel when the elder scroll when they Final Fantasy one style and the yo, and the elder scrolls yeah so um and he's resurrecting all the dragons to people think to dominate the world there however there's evidence that he might be there to destroy it in a different way um and your quest is to stop him from destroying the world by killing dragons obtaining their souls obtaining new worlds words of power um and at the end you go mm. into um Sovngarde and kill him for good what's the skyrim podcast i don't know I mean, when I, I, skyrim anniversary edition anniversary edition comes out it'll be the 10-year anniversary of the anniversary edition yeah no. they'll they'll add farming into it though bro Bro, I would be <laughs> fucking mean, high. I mean, need talking out of his mind for a second. Um, 
I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rip the band-aid off and do anti-hype for both of the Blizzard games. More anti-hype column? Oh, yeah. shit. So I'm happy for the for the Diablo fans. Uh I I'm an I I, I mean I guess I'm an Overwatch fan. Yeah. If 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 I haven't completely lapsed yet, but <clears throat> it's hard to get excited. Like, do the games look good? Yes. Asterisk, uh, what we got for Overwatch 2 was another cinematic trailer introducing a new character, and Overwatch yeah. 2 itself still seems to just be the single player campaign. Yeah. Um, but is Blizzard, and I yeah. don't have a whole lot of faith in Blizzard right now. No, mm. same. And I'm, I'm, I was real excited for Diablo 4 when they announced it, but I just can't. Like, it, yeah, we're not even touching harsh, right? Diablo Immortal, which is the the other like big piece of gaming news for the week. Is yeah. how scummy that game is. Really, yeah. I, I think I missed all that. Yeah, apparently. Are you being serious, or are you? No, I can't. Like, tell. I, I I didn't see anything about it. Okay, yeah, yeah, go ahead. no. Yeah, no, apparently from what people have been saying, uh, to get your character maxed out for the end game and stuff, like you have to spend at least a thousand dollars or something like that. Really? Oh, so oh. someone ran the yeah. numbers. Um, and to completely max out a character, because you can just buy your way there, but to completely mm. max out a character, one character, because none of this is is account based, it's all per character, mm -hmm. would cost over a hundred thousand dollars. How the hell does that even work? If what? <laughs> um, apparently, I've seen how it, how some of it works. Is that apparently when you clear a dungeon, it asks you to buy <clears throat> additional loot. That oh, is four ninety nine. No. Oh no! And that, Every time, and that additional loot is very critical. There's also um, that sucks. There's there's special crests that you have to buy uh, in order to increase. Uh, in order to basically not get vendor trash from a from a rift which is the the mini dungeons mm. that you that you're supposed to grind to increase your character power um you can put up to 10 legendary crests in for every rift run uh and that's 20 dollars worth by the way uh the game really wants you to buy them in in 10 packs uh because yeah. that's the only that's the only amount of currency that lines up uh, like that you can buy in the store that lines up with a thing that you'd want to spend it on. Yeah. Um, and on top of that, there is a subscription service oh, and no. a battle pass. Oh no. And they're not the same. Oh no. And you can also buy your way up levels in the battle pass. Oh my God. <laughs> this game, like it looks fun. I've seen people saying this game can still be fun, but yeah. it is predatory as hell yeah, yeah sounds about right for blizzard yeah yeah uh like blizzard uh, but netties definitely they they should have known who they were getting like we were just talking about nino kuni uh getting mm -hmm. into to blockchain bullshit yeah uh because of so so because of because of uh netmarble so yeah. it's a lot Blizzard's public image, like they needed this presentation for the sake of their PR after the disaster that this launch has been after a protracted development time for a mobile game because this game was announced four years ago. Yeah. Um, and this is still, this is only the second game that Blizzard has shipped mm -hmm. since Overwatch 1 came out. The other one being Warcraft 3 Reforged. Oh, no. so there is yeah. zero for two. Uh, oh. <laughs> since 2015. Mm -mm. Yeah. Um, and this is all on top of all of the allegations. Yeah. Yeah, that's bad. Um, and yes, there has there have been changes, but basically, until I see a union form at Blizzard, I am not going to be comfortable monetarily supporting them. Yeah because I think that that's the only way to guarantee that this stuff doesn't happen again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they were more than comfortable doing it for decades until they got caught. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then they were like, oh, we realized this was wrong. And it's like, no, shut, shut up. Shut up. No, you, shut up. you realize you got caught. <laughs> um, so I'm happy for the Diablo people. Um, yeah, I don't. I Overwatch Two is going to be free for the multiplayer. Um, that's that's cool, I guess. But yeah, I mean, sure. Shell doesn't already have a copy of the original game sitting around, and it's going to be the same just without the new art style. Um, 
moving on um yeah. just to just to make sure that we don't completely miss it um forza horizon 5 is getting a hot wheels expansion um <laughs> similar to the previous games it 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 looks very neat uh i'm not a racing game guy but i have friends that definitely are and speaking of which forza motorsport uh we're, we're getting a new forza motorsport forza motorsport god that's hard to say next year uh it looks really pretty uh <laughs> really pretty um scorn scorn looks cool yeah, uh scorn is cool it 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 looks uh gory as hell and it's coming out just in time for halloween um so we're i i, I we're gonna have fun with that one um arc 2 got announced fe featuring vin diesel uh yeah. <laughs> that was that was a fun cameo um but uh in the actual in the game uh i believe that vin diesel is playing the main character santiago and his daughter is played by uh ali Cravalho, better known as moana oh, oh shit well what can i say except that was you're neat. welcome um <laughs> Last case of Benedict Fox looks neat. It reminds me of the cave mm, yeah. uh, from from a long, long, long time ago. Uh, High on Life looks fun. Uh, I've enjoyed the other uh, Justin Roiland games that that I've played. Uh, I'm in the middle of Trevor Saves the Universe, and it's a lot of fun and it's very funny and amusing. Mm -hmm. um, am I missing anything? Oh, Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves season seven came uh, or is coming out. Uh, you can finally be a captain. I don't know how that took them this long. Uh, but I, I know friends that are, that are super into Sea of Thieves. Mm -hmm. Um, and we got a new trailer for Plague Tale Requiem, but Plague Tale Requiem is not Xbox exclusive. So I'm surprised yeah. that they showed it here. Looks um, good. aside from just announcing that Xbox Game Pass is getting it day one, obviously, but it is also coming to PlayStation 5. Mm -hmm. Um, I missed anything. I don't think I missed anything. Um, the Teen Ninja game. Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. Um, Wolong Fallen Dynasty. Yeah, looks good. We had to know nothing else about it. <laughs> it's it's also coming to PS4 and PS5, which is nice. Um, and it has the Bloodborne and Neo people. I think the the producers of those games on it. The producers. Oh, the producers. Okay. Um, so that looks cool. Yeah. Um, Minecraft Legends looks interesting. Um, yeah. But apparently, it's going to be console exclusive. I'm really surprised um, that there's not at least a Switch version because that's leaving a lot of money on the table. Having mm -hmm. worked in in retail for video games, like people love Switch Minecraft. People love it to this day. It sells it sells dozens of copies uh, yeah. out of just my store. Uh, and we got uh, oh a new Obsidian game, uh, Pentiment. Yeah. Uh, coming in November. Uh, and then that Aura History Untold. But yeah. that's not my kind of game. I have friends that are, that's their kind of game. Uh, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll have to ask them how it is. Yeah, it looks like it could be fun. I mean, I, I like Civilization, so. Um, and then the last thing, confirmation that uh, Kojima Productions is indeed making a game with Xbox Game Studios. Uh, we knew this. <laughs> we knew this was coming for a while. Yeah. Um, this has been this has been rumored for a very long time. So if you've kept up with with rumor with the rumor mill, you already knew that this was coming. Um, mm -hmm. And this is presumably in addition to the Death Stranding sequel that was accidentally leaked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we got a lot of news. We got a lot of news. Um, some of it was boring. Uh, none of these presentations needed to be as long as they were. But at least now we can kind of digest it all down and just talk about the stuff that we actually liked from it. And yeah. no one has to want us to go back and watch the two hour presentations. <laughs> yeah. Please stop doing this companies. Please stop. Like, I don't care if you have to break your stuff up into multiple days. I really don't want to sit there for 90 to 120 minutes ever again all the hype though paul and all yeah. all the hype just gets stronger and stronger each <laughs> honestly though if you're gonna do it at least like microsoft's let's just trailer 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 no awkward talking no aisha taylor trying to get me hyped <laughs> <sighs> and with that 
I want to thank you guys for listening to another episode of the Stray Pixels podcast. We post every Tuesday, theoretically, on your podcast app of choice and on the Noisy Pixel YouTube channel. Uh, what was your guys' favorite thing that you saw from these presentations? What are you looking forward to from, uh, I guess, Square Enix? Because the Capcom one will have already happened by the time this goes up. Um, let us know in the comments in YouTube. Uh, if there's anything you'd like us to talk about on a future episode, you can leave a comment under this video or talk to us on Twitter. You can find me, Colin, at, at the Arcane Ranger. You can find Nate at, at less than Nathan. And you can find Bailey at, at Orpheus Joshua or the site itself at, at Noisy Pixel News. Uh, the Stray Pixels podcast is brought to you by NoisyPixel.net. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to bring you the latest news, reviews, previews, podcasts, and more. Please like, subscribe, and follow to keep up with our future content and join our community Discord server where you can come talk nerdy with us. We will see you guys next week.